guys, we just drove over the bridge here and we're gonna be starting off the day surf casting here in Atlantic City. So walking underneath the boardwalk now, plan for the day is really just to catch whatever bites. So we got tied on the classic sinking SP minnow right here. And uh, we're just gonna try to catch whatever. So schooly striped bass, bluefish, we'll start here in AC. And if we have to, we'll move our way up the parkway and kind of fish the whole Jersey shore until we catch something. So stay tuned, we'll throw the GoPro on. Hopefully, start catching a couple fish. Whew. All right, guys, so here we are on the famous T Jetty here. We'll start off fishing with the sinking SP minnow right here in sandy color. Should be a good choice, really pretty calm conditions, nothing too crazy. So, we'll start with this guy right on the Penn Slammer 4500 and the 11 foot tsunami airwave. So Let's give her a rip. So we'll fish here to the tip, maybe give it an hour or so, see if we can catch any fish. No love on this guy in a couple casts. We'll uh, pop them off real quick. So I really was not liking the way that SP was swimming. So this is one of my favorite plugs here, Yuzuri Hydro Minnow, chicken scratch color here. And these guys just bomb out there. So great casting distance on these guys and their lip really makes them swim down at a pretty decent depth. So we'll give this guy a couple casts around the rocks, see if we can get lucky. And then we'll just keep on making our way down to the tip, hopefully generate at least one bite. So guys, not much love for us here on the jetty. So making our way down here to the beach, saw one snapper blue called over there, but really nothing crazy happening. So decided we'll walk out on the beach a little bit, give it a couple casts, then maybe walk out to that jetty over there before we do it all over again and maybe head back to the car. So see if we can get lucky out here. Just missed something good right there, dang it. Oh, just missed him, I don't know how in the world. First bite of the day. Dang, that was a good fish there too. Well, that was that guys, first bite of the day on this little swim shad right here. So I was just ready to pack it up, but I think we'll hang around for at least a couple more casts. So guys, we got one bite on this jetty over here. Actually felt like a decent bass, but I'm gonna hop off this guy, move down to that jetty over there, give it one last try here in Atlantic City before we get back on the road. So guys, we're gonna call it here in Atlantic City. Not really a fantastic start today, I'm really upset that I lost one fish over here. That guy slammed the storm shed, like out of nowhere. Definitely had some size and weight to him for the half a second he was on there. So could have been a keeper sized bass. That's that's definitely my estimate. I mean, a bluefish would have left teeth marks and all that stuff, but yeah, we're gonna call it here. We're gonna get back on the road. Might make a couple casts here off the of tee jetty coming up, but uh, that's the game plan now, guys. Time check is 11.30 a.m. So let's walk up, get back on the road, 
start sending it north, see where the send takes us. Woo! All right, then let's get going. So guys, spot number two. See if we can't make something happen. So guys, we'll start with throwing this popper here for a couple casts, just around this little cove. Then if we don't have any luck, or make our way out the inlet and go to the beach. All right, guys, so now we're at spot two, but actually it's like spot four or five. We just drove literally probably three hours with a couple stops in between Atlantic City and where I am right now. We stumbled upon a little bit of a snapper bluefish bite, but it's really not our target for today. So I decided to just come out here, stick to the surf, not cheat the challenge of the day. But uh, yeah, game plan for right now. We just parked at a random spot where I caught some fish in the fall. I highly doubt they're, they're the same fish are still here, but we're just gonna get out there, start casting, and literally walk as far as we can. Time checks 3.30 now. It's been a long day without any fish. I've had one bite so far all day. So uh, yeah, I mean, if we can just catch whatever, that'll save the day. So I'll see you guys out there. We got the rod here. We're on the beach. So let's get out there, start making some casts, and hopefully catch a couple fish. You. So guys, we're starting off the send, throwing the Uzuri Hydro Minnow long cast again in the chicken scratch color. I really just do like this guy. And uh, apparently I lost a lot of plugs out of my bag too. I just could not find them. So expectations are very low for this afternoon. We're just gonna stop, cast, and hopefully get lucky. I mean, there's really not much to it. I've lost a lot of hope, but we'll see if we can get lucky. So stay tuned. Well, there's the first catch of the day. The smallest sand flea I've ever seen. Guess he was a hungry little guy. There we go, we're on, we're on, we're on. What do we got, what do we got? We're on, baby. Good fish, good fish. Good fish, come on, come on, come on in, come on in. Oh, he's running, dude, he's running. Good fish, good fish, stay on, stay on, bro. Stay on, good fish. Come on up, come on up. Oh, it's a little schoolie. Oh yes, I'm just so happy to catch a fish. Awesome, dude. So that right there, guys, is obviously a rat bass, maybe 20 inches, really tiny guy, but it's been such a grind out here to catch a freaking fish today. It's around five o'clock, nine to five, eight hours to catch this little schoolie, but let's send him back real quick. All right, bud, thanks for coming out to play. Fall like a dog, man. Fall like a beast for his little size. There he goes. Not the best release, but he kicked off. The lip here is super steep, and I don't have waders on, so it's pretty tough to release them, but I have never been so stoked to catch a rat bass in my life, guys. 
Like, again, that guy was maybe 20 inches, but he hit like a friggin' tank, gave me a little bit of a fight, and it is good to wake up finally after being out here all day. So we're gonna keep on fishing, baby, why not? We'll walk another mile if we have to. Let's get it, you! Yo, Zori Hydro Minnow Chicken Scratch to the rescue. So, so pumped right now. Let's freaking go, dude. That is the absolute tiny spark of hope that I needed. He fought like a, a bigger fish. I mean, these surf fish definitely fight hard when they're in the wash like this. So we'll give it like five more casts here. We've been doing three casts at each spot. We've walked probably close to three quarters of a mile so far. So we're definitely putting in the work today, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we're getting close to it paying off. All I wanted was a couple fish today just off the surf on plug, so we'll take one to start. We got a couple more hours to grind it out here. Let's see if we can pull it together, because that is just such a good feeling. There we go. Good fish. Good fish. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh my God. He smoked it. Not a giant. Absolutely crushed it. I don't know what we got here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. Stop. 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 Chill. 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 Oh, big blue. Big blue. Big blue. Yeah, buddy. That's what I came here for, baby. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Did you see that? Woo! That is not even a monster at all, but that is my biggest bluefish of the season and the reason I did all this driving, baby. Smack this thing so freaking hard, dude. There we go, guys. This guy is not giant. But he is the reason why I drove all the way up here. Probably a four pound bluefish right there. Put him around 20 inches. Nothing mega, but we'll take him for sure. Awesome fish. Let's send him back. How long is he? Just to measure real quick. Oh yeah, 21 inches, 22 inches. All right, Mr. Bluefish, you get to live today, bud. I got enough shark bait. See you, dude. Sweet, dude. So that guy absolutely smoked the bait. And I like to travel in school, so I think I found a pocket right here. I caught that schoolie only a couple, maybe 100 yards that way. There's definitely some fish isolated in this pocket over here. So, uh, yeah, let's get some more casts out there. So there's definitely a couple fish around here, guys. We'll give it a couple more casts here. I really do like this little hole I think we stumbled on. To catch a schoolie and a bluefish after hours on hours of not catching anything is really good. So by themselves, those fish aren't anything special, but when you had a day like I've had today, and you guys know when you go out there and grind, any little bite is rewarding. So we'll give it like five, 10 more casts here and keep on bouncing down to hopefully catch a couple more fish, baby. You. So guys, I told myself if I didn't get another bite within an hour and a half of me releasing that blue fish at five o'clock, I was just gonna call it. So it's 6.30 now. Obviously we're headed off the beach and I'm actually really content with our results today. I mean, we fished, <laughs> we fished for nine, nine and a half, almost 10 hours across multiple different beaches probably 100 miles driven round trip and we're not even back home yet we were still able to eke out a couple fish you guys didn't hear me but i was actually praying underneath my breath just hoping saying two fish is enough two fish is enough as long as i catch two fish i'll be happy that'll be enough for a video so we got it done we caught one little one little schoolie rat bass and one little blue fish but so it's always more rewarding coming out here on the beach and getting it done yourself and it's always quite a challenge so we walked a lot of steps did a lot of driving and caught a couple of fish so i'm pretty happy guys thanks for tuning into this video if you guys could please remember to hit that like button below i really appreciate all the support and i just can't stress enough how important that is and uh while you're there might as well subscribe so thanks for tuning in guys 
I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. You.